All right, welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. Um, my name is Saiken and we're playing the legendary Iron Man Lone Wolf run where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with a single soldier per mission. It is month number five now and it's looking so and so. There's uh, really a lot that happened last month. Some of it was positive for us, the majority unfortunately was negative though. Let's look at the potential dark events. This one here is bad because we need it. Undying loyalty is really bad. We hopefully can counter it and the rest is okay. Nice. So let's get the supplies. I'm hoping that we're uh, going to get a couple of uh, more supportive missions. See what the covert ops are allowing us to do. Still can't get the Reaper. Reduce avatar project progress. Very nice, but we gotta have a sergeant for it. Recruit scientists. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. So we gotta have a sergeant for almost all of that. Still not leveled up. I think Hogbite is almost leveled up. Unfortunately, these missions seem to not give as much experience as I was hoping they would. Twelve days. And we would get a scientist out of it. Let's hope we can do it because I really want to do the avatar pro, um, progress reduction. Good. Covert ops look fine. We got enough supplies, so that is not the problem. Oh wait, before we are continuing here. So we could again not buy any Alarium. We can sell an autoloader and that's about it. We got enough supplies. That's really not the problem. We're... Wait a second. Maybe we can... Can we purchase a sergeant from here? So that an option. No, just a corporal. So we're seeing another facility down here. And with two facilities, the timer will also rise quicker and quicker. There we go.
We could continue making links down there. Could also go down here. The problem is if we're generate if we're creating a resistance tower over here. Once we lose this region, which is going to happen sooner or later, it will also remove the tower, and that sucks. So getting another region, A for additional supply income, B so we can spread out the risk of a, of a potential retaliation mission. So this here would be great if we can actually destroy the relay. This here is impossible because we cannot protect the, the device. It's not going to happen. The loss sign here. Yeah, I mean we could we could run this mission here in the hopes of getting some experience with the loss. And that way leveling up. Just take a position and basically farm the loss. That could be a thing. Hmm. The engineer would be way better, and also countering the the event would be way better. But I don't see it, and this is even difficult. Uh, I don't see how we're beating 12 enemies, let alone destroy the alien relay afterwards. I think we're going with a loss. They are probably our only hope of getting enough kills to level up. We need sectored corpses for the mine shield. Can at least start uh, with a bit of a med kit. It's good enough for now. Let's launch the mission. The idea is to level up Roby. We need the experience. So, if we're not protecting the device, that's fine. As long as we can somewhat kill enough of the lost. Good. So, protect the device, neutralize all enemies is uh, the idea. Guy's probably going to die sooner or later. Orders confirmed on the move. Could move up into this train and take a high ground position there. Okay, this is definitely not going to this pack here alone will easily easily kill us yep that pack alone will easily kill us as well so where are the loss Oh my gosh. It's going to be hilarious. We're still having beginner's equipment and it feels that the 
that the AI is almost fully uh, is, has almost overtaken us. Where are the loss? I was hoping for many, many, many loss. Well, that's not going to work out. The losses are not even here. What the actual hell? I think we will get exactly zero kills out of this mission. Maybe one. Maybe. Yeah, we can simply overwatch in the hopes of being spotted out and then maybe taking a good old shot at one of them. Nope, didn't work out. There are also no loss. Uh, this has been a really disappointing mission so far. Oh, now we're seeing a couple of losses. Interesting. Just wanted some experience, man. That's all. Nice little promotion. Nothing more. Ah, that is maybe a kill. I think that this here is a much more likely kill. Killed five enemies. I don't think that we're going to get a promotion for that. Probably should have used the other mission, where um, the one that we that we won, to farm even more losses. I know it would have been a bit cheesy. But we're having massive problems with the experience and we need a sergeant like right now oh, nice there's our sergeant right now good job roby
Good. That solves at least for the problem with um, some of the missions that require a sergeant. One of which is reducing the Avatar project, and that's really important for us at the moment. Need more power? Okay. Well, at least we're starting to reduce uh, the research time. Okay, let's build a power relay. Don't need her here. Instead, let's continue excavating. Takes a long time to get everything uh, going, but I feel at least from a building process, we're slowly making progress. Yeah, squad size increased by one. That would be very helpful. I could finally go in with five people. Our cooperation has proven to be a boon to the resistance. Good. Do we want to get the new faction? No, we want to first and foremost start. getting the avatar progress. We don't want uh, captured soldiers, but there is a chance for a moderate chance for an ambush. No, a low chance for an ambush, but a moderate chance for a wounding. Yeah, we still need to do it, uh, 10 days. Once uh, this year is done, we'll have at least one less Avatar project bubble. Ah, that's bad. It means we have a second chosen that is now able to to theoretically start making progress and also hunt us down. Ah, that's really that's really lamentable. These here were assassin regions, and this, of course, is a hunter region. Mm. Yeah, making contact would cost way too much intel. Since we don't need to heal, we might as well build a little bit faster. And there is another supply raid. I do not think that we're <coughs> that we're that we're able to do this, but might as well give it a try. This is not a supply crate run. This is an actual supply raid mission.
Yeah, not sure if this year is going to work out. I mean, probably need a stronger weapon. With his sword, he can at least kill some of them. But if it says beast-like creatures, that might imply berserkers at this stage. Or chrysalids, in both cases, we would need to immediately evac. I can't even imagine a beast-like creature that we would want to fight. Even a faceless one is too much at this point. Neutralize all enemy targets, yeah. I can already tell you that that's not going to happen. <laughs> there is nothing I can do against this pack. Maybe... Maybe I can blow up the convoy with my grenade. Yeah, if they are not standing right next to an uh, to a car, I don't know how we would kill them. Yep, and it's getting worse because we're being spotted out. Yep, we might be able to kill the stun dancer. Correction, we are going to be able to kill the Stun Lancer. What the actual fuck? I mean, it would be a nice mission if we would play it with the real squad. It's a good mission to come back because you can kite them quite well. But for a single... For a single operative... This here is not going to work out. Got to take the one kill. And the satisfaction of having slain an, um, a stun lancer, and then it's like one out of 12. Shit, six. Could have. Oh, so easy. But I can't do it. How? If they would be, if they would come one by one and they would run into an Overwatch trap, and it would be mainly, mainly the um, faceless ones, <sighs> maybe that is possible. Unlikely, but maybe, if I hit all of the shots. But two of them, plus a stun lancer, they regenerate. Not gonna happen. Oh, we just lost East Asia due to the failed supply rate. Cool. It's great. Love it. Probably don't need to expand. Should spend our intel elsewise. Hmm. 
we need anything from the black market. That one is still uh, needed. I'm not selling the superior agility. Everything we've seen indicates the chosen aren't going to stop hunting us, Commander. Our only option is to find them first. To do that, we'll need to work with the resistance. Thanks, Bradford. It's always very inspiring to hear to hear your words in a dire situation. Psionics could have been an option, but we're still lacking the crystals or the alloys. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to cut it here for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next um, in the next run. I hope that I can turn it around. I am a bit clueless as of how to deal with uh, the the problem of uh, the Avatar project, which is moving into the absolute wrong direction at the moment. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I'll think about how I deal with it. Uh, see you in the next run. Bye-bye.